What's it like as a young Newcastle supporter not knowing nothing else but Mike Ashley? Today I'm going to be finding out, I'm going to be asking Sammy, who is a young Newcastle supporter who knows no one else bar Mike Ashley. He has not had the privilege of Sir John Hall, he's not had the privilege of Freddie Shepard. All he knows is Mike Ashley. What is the legacy of Mike Ashley is putting on our young fans? Today we're going to find out. Hi everyone, how are you doing, Sammy? Welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. I've got a new guest with me, Sam. Sam, how are you doing? I'm fine, yeah, you. Yeah. Right, thank you for coming on. Um, we're going to be talking about Mike Ashley. What is it like to begin life with Mike Ashley as a Newcastle fan? Sam, you've only ever known Mike Ashley as an owner, haven't you? Yeah, he's we're basically gonna... not very good. Let's jump straight into it. So, obviously, I have had the privilege of growing up with Kevin Keegan in the mid 90s, all the way up until, you know, Freddie Shepard with Sir Bobby Robson. So, I've, I've experienced some. You could say you might say lucky owners, although we didn't win a trophy. We've seen some excitement, some brand. What's what was your first memory of Mike Ashley? Because you're quite young. So what was your first yeah. memory of Mike Ashley? Well, my first season was the championship, the very first one, first and nine. So that one was so, um, Chris Hutton. Yeah, Chris Hutton season. So obviously we blitzed the league. So that would have been quite, I guess, good times because we came in at the Premier League. And then obviously yeah. we sacked. Well, we when we say we, we didn't sack him. The yeah. board sacked Chris Hutton when we were sitting mid table. That was your. Was that your first real experience yeah. of what Mike Ashley, how ruthless he is? How did that make you yeah. feel? Not good because basically he done his job right and then got sacked at the end. Does that make sense? And what did you make of the whole um, Alan Pardew coming in? Were you happy? Did you know who he was being young? I didn't know who he was, but just my dad was on about him. And I was at Charlton and West Ham. Oh, didn't well, love it, well done, good memory. Well, he took West Ham to the final, didn't he? In uh, yeah. what was called the Stephen Gerrard final. But um, so we had the pod you carry on, and then obviously you would have you would have went all the way through growing up with that Joe Kinnear experience as well. Yeah. I mean, how did you find all of that? Um, not good because basically there's three people, and none of them really knew about the club. So you had obviously the, the board as well, and then then you changed the name of the stadium. I mean, what yeah. was that like for you? Um, not good because when I've been growing up, I've just been seeing Jesus part of full life, and basically all this is for advertisement. Exactly, changes it to sports. All right, there's kickoffs everywhere. There's protests and everything. Were you like bloody hell? What's going on with my club? Who yeah. is this guy? Was that what you? What was that? What you were like? Yeah, basically, yeah. And obviously, you know, we've had uh, McLaren later on. You know, Pardew was uh, <laughs> well, he wasn't sacked. He moved to Palace, Sydney. Then we yeah. had uh, Steve McLaren, which was a lot of upset about that. There's loads of stuff we can talk about, Mike Ashley, what he hasn't done right for the club, a lot of wrongs. But uh -huh. did you know much about Steve McLaren? Did you know who he was when he was appointed yeah. the two manager? He said, like England and Middlesbrough. No, he done okay at Middlesbrough, but not the best. Yeah, he won them a cup, though. There's only ever a trophy that they ever won, but he's never really Wally with the Broly and all that with England as yeah. well. And then, you know, we'll move into more modern times. We've got Rafa Benitez at the helm, which was a fantastic appointment. Everyone would agree, you know, we sadly went down. But do you feel that appointment under McLaren, under Ashley, was the wrong one? Uh, probably, yeah. Because obviously we went down under really with McLaren. It wasn't really Rafa Benitez, was it? Do you think we sacked McLaren too late? Probably, yeah, I think I probably should have sacked him about five, six games before that. And yeah. got Rafa then. And you think if Rafa came in earlier... That we would have stayed in that Premier League. I think Ollie would have definitely stayed up. So if we well, got on before the January transfer, he would have made his own signings. So we then unfortunately went down, and there was the talk about this. You know, Rafa Benitez was he stay? Would he go and everything? Now he stayed, which is absolutely fantastic to come down, drop <laughs> a division. Did that surprise you that the board convinced him? Uh, yeah, I thought he was, was like definitely going to leave. And he stayed, and we won the league, obviously in dramatic circumstances. But what's, what's your opinions on, you know, we've had three transfer windows where Rafa Benitez has again not been backed by Mike no. Ashley. What is your thoughts on that? Um, I think basically you need to invest. I think this season we probably will steal. But if we don't invest next season, I think we'll probably definitely go down. We've still got like a championship side. We've still got the championship side. So if we don't get a new owner in the summer, what happens with Mike Ashley? Um, I think basically it'd be like loads of protests, marches and all that. Do you, think no, go, like do you think it'll go back to what it was a few years ago when it was yeah. a bit hostile coming to the ground as well? Um, yeah. I remember the fake funeral and everything, which is, <laughs> which is a bit crazy. So you've obviously, the reason why we got you on is because you've only ever known Mike Ashley. And yeah. for me, as an older fan, looking at you and thinking, 
fuck, fucking hell, you've, you've, you've <laughs> grew of my Ashley, you know, I've been lucky enough, and there's fans who watch our channel as well, who are a lot older than me, who go uh -huh. the 70s, 80s and so on, and seen all kinds of different, but, uh, you know, I had uh, Sir John Hall, you know, when he re revitalised Newcastle, and we're fighting for the league title, we only lost to Manchester United <laughs> on the last day, you know, we, we, we had FA Cup finals, you know, Mike Ashley's record in the FA Cup, I mean, you would have only ever experienced third rounds and fourth rounds, wouldn't you? Yes. I really, the best one last year. I'm, and the League Cup, I I really yeah. feel for like yourselves, like you and other young young fans who have to grow up with Mike Ashley because he's never really seen Sir John Hall and even Freddie Shepard. Um, to this day, I know he had, he had a lot of criticism, but it, yes, uh -huh. he put the club into debt, but he was chucking money. And I know Michael Owen signed and never came off, but it was ambition was trying to get there, and he was with under Bobby Robson, which you can say he was wrong. He sacked Bobby Robson, but there was ambition at least trying there, and yeah. that's something that you grew up, and like many other people your age, you have never seen Newcastle be a top dog, have you? No, never. See, when I was growing up, when I was your age, you know, I grew up with, like, Keegan ahead, Bobby Robson. I think I was about your age when Bobby Robson and we were fighting for the champ, champ trying to go yeah. and win the, the, the Premier League and we're going in the Champions League, and you obviously Hugo Viana was on the other night. I grew up watching yeah. all of those kind of people, and I feel for, like, the generation that you lot have got to go through because most of the stuff is fairly negative, isn't it? Yeah, basically, yeah. If you had to describe your Newcastle, because you obviously when you grow up, you'll have uh -huh. kids yourself and everything and so on. And when you look back and you'll, you'll talk about Mike Ashley, and what is, what's going to be his legacy as you as a young fan? Uh, basically not invested, not back in the club, not back in the managers. Just doing absolutely nothing for the club. So yeah, even when I was like going back to when I was young, you know, I had like hope, you know, that we were fighting uh -huh. and the likes of Manchester United and Arsenal were big and the youths lot, your generation, like people probably under 20 even, have never seen uh -huh. Newcastle compete. And it's a real crying shame because if you look at that club right now, it's absolutely massive potential. How far could, yeah. if someone took money, even if it was Amanda Stavely or even Floyd Mayweather, jokes, obviously, um, where someone else was to come in, where could uh -huh. we go? Where could we go in your, your opinion? I think they'll probably be like a Tottenham type club, but obviously trying to compete as well. Do you think we've got the fan base? We've got already. the fan base. We've got the stadium. Can we get to that next bracket, the top six? Maybe Europa top. League. Then maybe. I think the... go like how like Man City went. They went like ninth and then fifth straight away and went all the way back up. Aye, I think they'll probably have a lot more money than us as well. But it's interesting to take because I feel for you a lot growing up with Mike Ashley. I mean. When you grow up and tell your stories of like when you went to games and you sat in the Gallagher and whatever, when you're an old man, yeah. your legacy as a kid is going to be Mike Ashley. And so it's a crying shame yeah. for fans like yourselves, like because mine was Sir John Hall and it was great memories for me. And you, as a young fan, have got so much negativity, haven't you? Yeah. Absolutely. Real. Shame. Right, you've got YouTube as well, haven't you? Yeah, man, YouTube, Sammy Lee Douglas. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description. So if you want to All pop up a Sam, it's his first time on, so well done coming on as well. I know it's a big step jumping on obviously uh, to, to our channel so thank you as well if you're a young fan as well let us know what your legacy of Mike Ashley is the po is there any positives probably Rafa Benitez would you go along with that Sam? yeah about the last Look. 10 years is probably Rafa Benitez maybe the when we finish fifth uh, let us know what you think and the thoughts are on there below Sam thanks for coming on once more thank you right, See cheers. Thank cheers you. later bye bye See you. bye